Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find all the values of x that satisfy the given exponential equation. Of course, you know that the first step to solving this problem will be to take log of both sides of this equation. And then remember that when we write log without specifying the base, it means we are working in base 10. So taking log of both sides of this exponential equation, we have log x to the power log 2x is equal to log 5. Now, the next thing we are going to do will be to apply the power rule of logarithms. That is that rule that says that we can bring down this exponent to the front to become a multiplier. When we apply this rule, we have log 2x times log x is equal to log 5. Now, you can see that this is a product. Of course, you know that this is 2 times x. Remember that when we have log a, b, that this is equal to log a plus log b. So this can be expressed as log 2 plus log x. And of course, we still have log x multiplying. And this product is equal to log 5. We have log x here and we have log x here. So let log x be equal to d. With this substitution, this equation now becomes log 2 plus d multiplied by d is equal to log 5. Now let us open this bracket. We have log 2 times d. And we have d times d, which is d squared. And this is equal to log 5. And here you can see that we have the quadratic equation. Now let us rearrange it. We have d squared plus log 2d minus log 5 is equal to 0. The next thing we are going to do is to rewrite this. Remember that 2 is equal to 10 over 5. So we can write this as d squared plus log 10 over 5 multiplied by d minus log 5 is equal to 0. But now you can see that we have a quotient. And you remember that when we have log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So this is going to be equal to d squared plus log 10 minus log 5 multiplied by d and of course minus log 5 and everything is equal to 0. But now look at this. Remember that we are working in base 10. So this is log to base 10 of 10 and of course you know that log to base a of a is equal to 1. So this is equal to 1. So this equation is going to be d squared plus 1 minus log 5 multiplied by d minus log 5 is equal to 0. Now let us open this bracket. We have d squared plus 1 times d is d minus log 5 times d is minus log 5d and then minus log 5 is equal to 0. Now you can see that we can very easily factorize this quadratic equation. Between these two terms we have a common factor which is d. So we have d into d squared divided by d is d and d divided by d is plus 
1. Between these two terms, we also have a common factor, which is log 5. So we have minus log 5. Now, minus log 5d divided by minus log 5 is going to be equal to d. And minus log 5 divided by minus log 5, of course, is going to be equal to plus 1. And we still have everything being equal to 0. Once more, when you look at these two terms, you will see that we have a common factor, which is d plus 1. So we have d plus 1. And we have d minus log 5. And everything is equal to 0. And of course, at this point, you know that this simply means that either d plus 1 is equal to 0 or d minus log 5 is equal to 0. From here, we get that d is equal to minus 1. And from here, we get that d is equal to log 5. But of course, you remember that d is equal to log x. So this simply means that either log x is equal to minus 1 or log x is equal to log 5. Now, remember that this is base 10. And you know that when we have a statement like this, it simply means that 10 to the power minus 1 is equal to x. So from here, we have that x is equal to 10 to the power minus 1 or 1 over 10. And from here, when you compare the left and right hand sides of this equation, you will see that x is equal to 5. So we have two values of x that apparently satisfy this exponential equation. Now let us check whether they actually satisfy the equation. Now, when we substitute the value 10 to the power minus 1, which of course is also equal to 1 over 10, into this exponential equation, we have 10 to the power minus 1 to the power log 2 times 1 over 10. Now, here we have 10 to the power minus 1 to the power log 2. 2 into itself is 1, and into 10 is 5. So here we have log 1 over 5. Now, of course, you know that when we have two powers like this, all we have to do is to multiply both of them. So here what we have is 10 to the power minus log 1 over 5. But remember that we can apply the power rule of logarithms to this. When we have log a to the power b. This is equal to b times log a. So when we have b times log a, we can move this multiplier to become the exponent of a. In this case, we can move the multiplier, which is minus 1, to become the exponent of 1 over 5. When we do that, we have 10 to the power log 1 over 5 to the power minus 1. And of course, you know that this simply means the reciprocal of 1 over 5, which is equal to 5. So this is equal to 10 to the power log 5. But then remember that we are working in base 10. And this is 10 to the power log to base 10 of 5. Remember that a to the power log to base a of b is simply equal to b. So this is simply equal to 5, which is exactly what we have on the right-hand side of the original equation. And substituting the value 5 for x in the exponential equation, we have 5 to the power log 2 times 5. Now here we have 5 to the power log 10, because 2 times 5 is equal to 10. But remember that we are working in base 10. And log 
the base a of a is equal to one so this is five to the power one which is equal to five which is exactly what we have on the right hand side of the original exponential equation and with that we come to the end of today's exercise i hope you learned something new if you enjoy such content please subscribe to the channel leave us a like to support the channel thanks for watching and see you in the next video